I think it's interesting, like the wider thing of how improvisation is, and like over the like, last 30, 40 years, it sort of crops up in different practices, like in jazz practice or in dance practice, or um, I don't know, now, it, now it's sort of cropping up in sort of design practices where people are taking these ideas of improvisation and using them to make art and to make architecture for the same process. I think a lot of people don't know how to watch improvisation as because improvisation I think it often is a process it's not it's not a finished object it's the process of making the cup you might end up with a cup at the end or a, or a saucepan or something <laughs> why do I like improvising I can't help doing it I mean it's what you do all the time you can't avoid improvising actually it's a way of uh, understanding and recreating the world that you're in it's, it's always throwing up new ideas and new uh, um, viewpoints and what we can do and who we can be in relationship to each other. It can explore a way of thinking or a new paradigm or within that time and space which would be the performance space. People that think that to be improvising is to be mad or to be um, crazy somehow. But also for me improvising is to be thoughtful as well and to be meditative and it includes all of those things. There isn't a linear line, I guess, in improvisation, that it can move in any direction at any time. A complete mess, perhaps. <laughs> I guess, for me, it, had a, had, it was a magical kind of term, in a way, when I first came across it, because it, it meant some kind of, something to do with freedom. There's always a negotiation going on between freedom and form within improvisation. And the form is how you present it to people. I'm not so interested in just being completely free without any regard to form or to convention, but I'm interested in the relationship again between the two. I mean, and again, it comes down to these relationships and choosing what this relationship is between freedom and form, and you know, convention or, and anarchy. Or I mean, if I think of, it, if, of something just being totally free, then without any kind of form, I'm not so interested actually. I'm interested in the relationship it has to a more concrete thing, or form, or to body, or to limit. So it's like the f unlimited and limited, and how we negotiate between those two, because as a human we kind of live in between those two things all the time, whether in fantasy or reality, and these different sides of ourselves. Sometimes I'll choose just to be a musician, or I'll choose just to be a mover. I enjoy that, that deterioration of music behaviour, into dance behaviour and back again. But primarily I think I'm a performer which uses both. I, mean, I don't think of myself as, as either a dancer or a musician, really. but I'm interested in that live act that is improvising, is, is being present. You know, you put the cello in space, you don't have to play any music. It's just there as a thing, you know, there's nothing to, t there's nothing to do, everyone knows what the cello sounds like. It's almost like it does it itself sometimes. But I guess you can always recognize um, the look of panic in people's faces and know you know that they're improvising. <laughs>